Hey, welcome to Dakota Busy YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going to be working on painting a rustic uh, flag type pattern on a saw blade. Um, this is a 19 inch saw blade and as you can see we painted a uh, it's like a old rustic um, type, type flag pattern on it. Tried to make it look with wood pattern that uh, paint was either been sanded or has chipped away um, so that's the look we we're going for on this one and the blade that we're going to be I'm going to be helping show you guys how to do this is on a 21 inch saw blade similar to this uh, I believe the inside uh, is a three and a half inch so um, and I, I try to paint it I mashed up the hole so when it's set on its stand it will be turned just a little bit kind of just gives it a nice look to it um, the same pattern can work on other hand saws. This is just a regular one-handed saw blade. I've also did uh, a one-handed 54-inch saw blade. Um, they turn out turn out really nice. So if uh, this is a look that you're going on to do, um, just keep watching and I'll show you through the steps. All right, so I got my saw blade picked out that I'm going to use. Some items that I like to use to clean it up are uh, I've got the paint and varnish remover. It's almost like a scotch pad type feel to it. And then some uh, finishing sander type discs, which also is very nice to get some, some of the rust off. Um, also wire brushes I've used on like for a drill attachment and stuff that work really good or for a bench sander. So now I'm going to uh, start removing some of the rust off. This one's not too bad for as far as rust goes, but I'm going to clean it up best I can. And then I put a white primer over top of it, and I do black primer, or black primer uh, flat black on the back side. And then I do all my painting service on the white side of it, and, and then we can uh, start, start our process. All right, so now I am done. I've sanded down and got as much of the rust off that, that I can without using a, a grinder or something like that. So um, this, this is the paint that I'm going to be spraying on it. So like I said, one side black. I just use the flat black. This is just a Rust-Oleum. And then I use the same deal set for flat white on the other side. Um, something I forgot to mention, when I'm sanding or getting rid of the rust along the edges of your blade, I usually use the, the sanding disc. It doesn't grab as much. Whereas if you're using the scotch pad type and you go around to the edges, it's gonna tear up your scotch pad a lot faster. So if you wanna get longevity out of your, your sanding, um, yeah, use this for the edges and then use, use this for everything else in the middle here. Uh, it'll just save you some money. And now I'm gonna paint, get this all primed up and we can move on to the next step. Okay, so I have sprayed one side white using that flat white Rust-Oleum. Uh, you can see that it's not painted you know, professionally. I have some streaks and some spots that are a little bit lighter than the other, and that's fine. You do not have to be a rattle can expert. Uh, this is all gonna get covered up into the next, next step anyway, so um, just get it get it, uh, a decent base coat on there and we should be fine. So once this dries, I'm going to paint the other side with that flat black and we can go uh, move on to the next.